Hampshire pile on the runs thanks to Holland and Northeast Tons. An Abbas hat trick on day two had Hampshire in total control. The bowler's return of 6 for 11 left Middlesex reeling, all out for 79, and after good work by Northeastern Holland, leading by well over 400, the score 204 for 2. First on the agenda was yet another moment of celebration for the hosts. Sam Northeast, unbeaten overnight on 99, finally ticked over to 100, another boundary taking him to the figure to add to his first innings 50. It was Holland's turn soon after. Sota slapped over the leg side for four to get him there, Hampshire refusing to slow down. They ploughed past 250, and the innings started to take on the characteristics of a one-day game. That intent ultimately led to Northeast's demise. He was bold as he looked to smash Finn over the Solent. Vince's stay was brief, out for a duck after just three balls. Holland, though, looked to have some fun as he closed in on 150, but wouldn't make it. Vince took the opportunity to declare with the score on 290, Middlesex set 531 to win. It was all about Northeast and Holland. Their epic partnership ended Middlesex's hopes of an unlikely fight back and set their side up for a charge to a day three finish. Only Sota's eight overs went relatively unpunished, all five of Middlesex's other bowlers going for more than four and over. Not a lot to do for Middlesex then other than just bat, and Sam Robson and Max Holden did just that, taking the score to 26 for none at lunch, an improvement at least on the first innings, where they'd already lost five wickets by that point. But Hampshire couldn't be held back for very long. Abbas was back in the wickets, Robson's coming with a bit of fortune. It was Abbott's turn in the next over, the other opener removed, Holden trapped LBW for 10. The pair traded wickets, Abbas returned to see the back of Eskenazi. The visitors made it through to T without further damage. The score, 71 for 3, but the innings already a much more fruitful one than their first. As a mark of respect, all nine LV County Championship matches paused on Saturday to coincide with the funeral of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, alongside observing the one-minute silence at 3pm. Gubbins and White picked up where they'd left off. Their partnership was soon worth 50 runs. There was more cause for celebration, at least for Nick Gubbins. He reached his 50 off wheel, his side now enjoying a rare purple patch. But their resistance was ended when Gubbins was prized out by Ian Holland, Liam Dawson with an excellent catch. Straight afterwards, Robbie White went to a workmanlike half century from 120 balls. A very good job in the circumstances from the visitors number five. He kept on trucking alongside Martin Anderson, and Hampshire were looking frustrated for the first time in three days. Middlesex now reached 200. When the umpires took them off the field at the close of play, the score was 208 for four. The visitors still trailed by an imposing 323 to win. There was lots of work to do if they were to play their way to an unlikely escape.